up you guys come on in come on in welcome to the channel thank you guys for coming over and watching another fragrance video with me if you're new to the channel welcome big shout out to all my new subscribers I appreciate you guys so much for hitting that subscribe button okay so if you follow me on Instagram you know that I've been on or even TikTok you know that I've been on this no buy basically since May okay I've already broken the no buy, but I'm taking like baby steps, right? I'm not just going crazy. Even though a part of me wants to go buck wild, okay? And buy a whole bunch of fragrances, but I'm, I'm pacing myself, I'm breathing. I'm reminding myself that I have time, okay? Like these fragrances hopefully are not about to be discontinued. So I am relaxing, but I'm, I'm on the fence. I don't know what to buy next. So what I've been doing is going through a bunch of my samples, you guys. I have probably over, oh my God, 300, 400, 500 samples, something ridiculous. Like I have a lot of samples. I have a lot of discovery kits, some that I've bought on my own, some that was gifted to me. A lot of my friends in the fragrance community have gifted me samples like I have a lot of samples so I said you know what let's take this time to go through your samples and see what you really want to buy I do have a running list of fragrances that I do want to purchase and add to my collection okay a lot of you guys that have been following me y'all probably are wondering why my fragrances are not behind me it's simply because it's too hot in here and I had to move them. They're in a cooler spot, but they will be back, okay, as soon as the situation is rectified. I guess I'm in a point where I'm kind of like, correct, is it curating? Curating, okay, it's such a fancy word. I'm curating my collection. So I'm not really in the mood to just buy fragrances just to buy them. I know that my platform is built on reviewing fragrances for you guys new and old um and i do like you know buying fragrances that just hit the market just to give you guys the heads up on them and the tea or whatever if i do so more than likely it's going to be like a travel spray or it's going to be a sample if i can get my hands on a sample companies are not really sampling anymore i i just uh made a purchase here recently and I keep getting the same old samples that of fragrances that have been out for years. And I'm like, what's up with that? So I feel like companies are probably like reeling back and not really sampling fragrances anymore like they used to. But anyway, I have a bunch of samples. I have a bunch of samples. So I'm going to take this time to go through my samples and find a fragrance that I really want, a few that I really want. Like I said, I already have a list that I already know that I want that don't even include these samples, okay? But we gonna get into it right quick. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, thank you. My name is Amanda Marie and over here I love to discuss fragrances. So if you are someone that is a collector or you love fragrances or are you getting into fragrances you're building a collection whatever the case may be i would love for you to hit that subscribe button okay and turn on your notification bell that way you'll be notified every time i upload let's start with the fragrance that i actually got last year when i purchased um, my last um tiziana terenzi fragrance and the fragrance is escaping my mind right now i can't think of it but it was like a limited edition uh 2021 version but anyway they gave me uh the sales associate gave me a sample of hell bop oh my god and you guys i fell in love with this fragrance if you don't know like once you start your fragrance journey you will find fragrances that um you're very attracted to like all the time i call these fragrances like my scent profile i do have a very specific scent profile and they always kind of usually lean to sweet 
powdery, vanillic, warm type of fragrances. They tend to have a little bit of woods. They tend to have a little bit of patchouli, um, like a little earthy vibe to them. And you guys, I fell in love with Hellbop and I've been wanting to add it to my collection for over a year now. Like, I want Hellbop so bad. This is beautiful. This is definitely a fragrance I would reserve only for fall and winter. So in this fragrance, you get notes of cinnamon, nutmeg, vanilla, lemon, patchouli, sage, uh, labdomen, and musk, okay? So this fragrance is very powdery to me. It's like a sweet, amped up, powdery scent. It's very soft, it's very smooth, okay? It's kind of a little spicy, but I'm thinking that's because of the nutmeg and the cinnamon. Oh my God, I do get a hint of that lemon in this fragrance. The vanilla is coming all the way through and it's almost giving me like this gourmandish type of vibe. It's not necessarily a gourmand fragrance to me, but it's giving me slightly gourmand, slightly sweet, slightly edible type of scent and it's just simply gorgeous. I love this fragrance. Oh, this is at the top of my list for sure. Like, this is the top. It's very pricey, so, you know, I got to save my coins or whatever before I can purchase this fragrance because it's going gonna, it's gonna to run me about three, okay, after taxes and all that. It's up there, okay? But if you know anything about Tiziana Terenzi, she's a, a, a niche brand, okay? And her fragrances are very unique. I personally... I've not ran across any fragrances that smell like similar to her fragrances. She has a very unique style. Her and her brother, they make fragrances together, okay? So she has a very unique way of creating her um, fragrances and I really do enjoy that. I, I don't enjoy every Tiziana Terenzi fragrances because I found that some of her fragrances can be a little piercing to my nose, like very overwhelming. And they sometimes come off like this metal, metallic, um, very aldehydic, chipra type of uh, scent. Kind of almost like vintage in a way. Um, and that happens few, a few and far in between with her fragrances. But for the most part, I enjoy her fragrances. I think I have about five or six now. But this one is on the top of my list. It's simply gorgeous. It's angelic to me. It smells like an angel with wings, okay? Like a, just a fairy. I'm gonna smell like a fairy, okay? Tinkerbell, okay? It's giving me Tinkerbell vibes. It's giving me princess vibes. It's very, it has this regal type of smell to it. And I think, I don't think it's like extremely unique but I think it's very different in the way of how the notes are combined. Like you get a warmness, you get sweet, you get spicy, you get earthy, you get this elegance, okay, about the fragrance. It's really, really gorgeous. So I have been safekeeping this sample. I don't even know how much, like, it's still pretty full because, honey, I've been, you know, like I said, it's pricey, so I'm not really just trying to run out and drop, you know what I'm saying, coin on this fragrance. So I'll get it at some point, probably in the next, you know, two to three months or whatever. But I will be adding this to my collection. If you have this, comment down below. Let me know. Let us know how you feel about this fragrance. But oh my God, it is simply gorgeous. It's just a beautiful, beautiful scent, okay? The next fragrance, I was actually gifted this from decant x if you guys follow them on instagram their um instagram was hacked okay i will link all of their information down below but go back and follow them on instagram i'll put their instagram right here as well so you can go follow them but they're i hate that i'm like what is the purpose in hacking somebody's instagram like you ain't gonna get no money like i just don't understand what the purpose is behind that but they sent me a decant of Lamar by Kajal, okay? First of all, have you seen the bottle? The bottle is simply gorgeous. It is, I wanna say this fragrance is based in the Middle East, where this brand is based in the Middle East. And their packaging represents the culture, their culture. 
it is so gorgeous it's just it's very regal and it looks very expensive and it's all gold it's just the bottle is simply amazing but let's get on the fragrance though okay this is a beautiful scent in this scent you're gonna get pineapple you're gonna get red berries apple cardamom coriander uh, jasmine magnolia Oh my God, when I tell you the pineapple is literally the first thing I smell. I'm actually gonna spray a little bit on my skin. The pineapple is the first thing that I smell, even in with the nozzle, like I'm smelling the nozzle, I get this sweet, fresh, bright, spicy pineapple. Oh my God, it's simply gorgeous. <laughs> this is amazing scent, like, oh my God, top 10, okay, top, 10 roses okay this is a beautiful fragrance and i love the woods in the dry down there there's some woody notes in the dry down i want to say there may be um oak moss in the dry down as well and you i get that i get that oak moss smell you guys know I, how i describe oak moss it has a woody smell to it but almost like a wet type of earthy feel like you know you're somewhere near water and the earth is wet like you can tell when something is wet when you're outside because you can see it visually it looks very soft kind of like muddy you can see water around it and then the, the earth has this very uh wet wetness uh smell to it i hope i'm describing it good enough for you to understand what i'm saying so it would be kind of like that earthy mossy smell that you would get in baccarat you know fragrances like that that is and i'm not comparing this to baccarat okay this don't smell nothing like baccarat all right but it does have uh like the same vibe okay if i'm making sense of a, a baccarat type of fragrance but it's the pineapple for me the pineapple is simply amazing like if you like sweet fruity earthy spicy type of scents very fresh and bright you'll enjoy this fragrance it is simply amazing now again this fragrance is another fragrance this is one more fragrance that's on the pricey side okay i don't know it's in my dna okay what can i say i like expensive things it's in my dna i've learned to accept it it's just the way it is i don't know maybe in another life i was a queen or a princess or you know like a, a rich white lady or something like that like i don't know but it's definitely in my dna um to enjoy the finer things in life okay and i'm really enjoying this sample y'all see how much i have left in here like more than half is gone and i am safe keeping this fragrance with my whole entire life okay because honey at the time when i got it i didn't have you know the coin to spin on it you know what i'm saying so i can't wait to get it into my collection it is really really beautiful you guys have probably heard other youtubers talk about lamar by kajal at one point it was so popular it sold out okay briefly and then they brought it back so i cannot wait to get it okay so my next fragrance was gifted to me um by my friend um Mr. Fantastic Fox. Okay, I hope I said that right. Anyway, I will link him down below. He has a YouTube channel as well and he's on Instagram. So I will make sure I put all this information. You guys go follow him, especially if you're a man and you're into fragrances. He has a really, really amazing collection and that's the guy. Okay, if you're a guy watching me and you want more information about fragrances for men, go check out Mr. Fox. Okay. But he sent me a decant of Caban by Yves Saint Laurent, okay? So again, just like I said earlier, I do have, I have this um, love for sweet, warm, vanillic, spicy fragrances. And that is what this is. This is really, really gorgeous, okay? In this fragrance, you get a lot of pepper. You get pink pepper, you get black pepper, you get osmanthus, you get tonka, sandalwood, patchouli, you get some other notes too. Oh my God, this smells like a sweet, creamy, vanillic dream. This is very much unisex in my opinion. If you are 
um, you and I share the same scent profile, you're a woman and you enjoy a lot of the fragrances that I talk about a lot on my channel, you will enjoy Caban by Yves Saint Laurent. Oh my God, this is so dreamy. I pick up the vanilla, of course. The vanilla is all through the fragrance, okay? I pick up the spice because again, there's two peppers in here, pink and black. But you know the crazy thing of it is, with that amount of pepper in this fragrance, it's not over the top spicy. You know, it's very, it's blended very well. It goes with the fragrance, okay? The amber in this fragrance makes the fragrance very warm and very inviting. This fragrance has a very cozy, uh, comforting feel to it. Like, I could totally see myself wearing this and just kind of snuggling up with my boo and just, you know, chilling out, you know, under the throw, watching a movie with the fire going in the fireplace. Like, this is the vibe that this fragrance gives me, okay? Very, very beautiful. Again, I think this is extremely unisex. I would not say it leans either way. I wouldn't say it leans feminine or masculine. It, it, to be honest with you, it probably, in my opinion, may lean a little bit more feminine because of the sweetness in this fragrance. But, oh my God, it is, it is amazing. Well worth the coin. Another pricey one. I'm, it's another, y'all. That's why it's taken me so long to buy these fragrances, you know, because just because you got it don't mean you got to spend it. And plus, I have these decants and I still have plenty left in here to enjoy. So I'm not just like in a rush to buy the fragrances. But I do want to start, you know, looking at other fragrances, smelling them, sampling them, and then adding them to my collection. I really, really, really don't want a blind buy okay not that i've had a lot of bad experiences with blind buys but when you get to a certain price point like no i don't really care to blind buy like i need to smell that fragrance because guess what if i don't like the fragrance i'm pretty much stuck with it i don't really know the return policies on a lot of fragrances but you know with this whole age of the pandemic and stuff like that i can't really see a brand a company taking a fragrance back and putting it back on the shelf i feel like they probably will like discard that fragrance or throw it away and that's just money wasted to me you know so at this point in my fragrance journey i am doing a lot of sampling and i want to be a hundred percent sure this is a fragrance that i want to add into my collection gorgeous gorgeous scent um i think this would be great to wear to work because it's non offensive i think it would be great to wear on a date night and again just if you're chilling at the house and it's warm i mean cold warm not you could probably wear it right now but i see myself grabbing it more in the winter time honestly but it's a good fragrance again coban coban by e saint laurent so the next two fragrances I was gifted by my friend Pam Jordan here on YouTube. I will link her down below. Go follow her on Instagram as well. I will put her Instagram link. You guys go check her out. She has a really nice fragrance collection and she has a lot of high-end fragrances. So she's put me on to a lot of high-end fragrances. One brand in particular I'm going to talk about here in a second is called Kriegler. I didn't have anything in my collection from Kriegler. I've heard about Kriegler, how good the fragrances are, and of course, people always talk about how expensive they are as well. But the first one I wanna talk about is from the house of Arabian Oud, and this is Rasala, okay? This is Rasala. Now again, it's hitting on that same scent profile. Oh, but this one is a little bit more Oudy. You know, at first whiff, it kind of reminds me of Chagop Oud, but let's get into the notes a little bit. In this fragrance, you get chocolate, you get rose, you get woods, you get vanilla, you get saffron. You guys know I thoroughly enjoy saffron. I think saffron makes fragrances extremely sexy. So this fragrance has a lot, a lot of sex appeal, okay? This one, again, is very unisex, but I, I feel like this one is leaning a little bit more masculine in my opinion. 
basically what I'm getting out of this fragrance is a very warm, sweet, uh, chocolatey, vanillic scent with some spice, okay? That rose is very, very gorgeous. See, this is a type of rose that I like in fragrance. Like, I like my rose to have character, okay? This rose has a lot of character. It smells very, um, extremely sexy, mature, you know, it's very unique. I think if you are someone who is getting into ooze, like you want to get into ooze, you want to know more about ooze, but you're kind of scared because maybe you've watched some videos where people describe ood as smelling like boo-boo or like a stinky barnyard animalic smell. Not with this one. This one is smooth, okay? It's very smooth, very soft, very sweet, okay? That's what I get out of this fragrance. I love the combination of the spice with the chocolate, vanilla, and the oud. Oud is not mentioned in the breakdown, but it's giving me oud, okay? To my nose, the first thing I think of is oud. Also, there's a note of leather in this fragrance, which I think is blended to perfection, honey, because I don't really pick up any leather. Leather, you guys, can be very piercing. It can be very overwhelming in a fragrance. And sometimes it can go left. It can turn me off real quick. So if I'm going to wear a fragrance that has leather in it, like that thing got to be blended. Like it just has to make sense. And in this fragrance, it makes sense. Okay. It makes a lot of sense. This is gorgeous. I think this will smell great on a man. Again, it does lean a little bit more masculine in my opinion. I think this will smell great on a woman. If you're the type of woman that you don't mind wearing you know slightly masculine scents you know you could totally rock this fragrance okay that's me like i don't mind wearing a heavy fragrance this is definitely a heavy fragrance this is definitely a beast mode type of scent like i cannot imagine this fragrance not lasting all day i feel like you're gonna get girl probably like nine hours out of this fragrance even more maybe 24 hours okay this fragrance has amazing projection, amazing longevity. I've worn it on my skin. It's just all around 10 out of 10 in my opinion. So if you like scents that kind of remind you of Chagop Oud or fragrances that remind you of Delina Exclusive, Oud Satin Mood, okay, yes, by MFK, then you will enjoy this fragrance a lot. When I get ready, I'm just gonna go down to the Galleria here in Houston and buy mine. Hopefully they have it in stock. I'ma call them before I go up there because believe it or not, I've gotten to the age where I don't even like going to the mall anymore. Like seriously, just mail me my stuff, okay? Just put my stuff in the mail and let me go on ahead and buy my merry way, okay? That's how I feel at this point in my life, like child. And when I was in my 20s and stuff like that, baby, I was at the malls, okay? But now, now I'm ordering my stuff online period all right let's get into Kriegler oh my god mm. this is Kriegler uh, charming California uh, 215 okay so I see that they the fragrances are named and they do have numbers I have not done my research on them just yet to figure out what the numbers represent but once I get my bottle I will go into what the numbers represent i will find out okay but in this fragrance you get green tea you get rose bergamot cardamom orange blossom cedar coriander jasmine sandalwood and lily of the valley oh my god this fragrance is definitely charming they definitely i'm gonna put i'm gonna dab a little bit on my arm here this is amazing scent like i went through and you know what pam thank you pam she's just an amazing person you guys she sent me one two three four five five kriegler samples thank you girl love you for that man kriegler is not cheap shoot it is not cheap honey but let's get into this scent oh my god uh, it's just ah child i don't want to use up all my little, my little juice but 
this is an amazing scent like this is top tier top notch i'm gonna put some on here there we go okay oh i had to just i had to get a little bit more on my skin there is something very sweet about this fragrance that is what i get right off the top i get this this sweetness almost kind of like candy like but sweet is not listed as an accord on fragrantica the accords are green citrus white floral rose aromatic warm spicy woody floral fresh spicy and fresh i would say it's fresh i would say it's very airy it's like aromatic it has this very aromatic feel to it but it i'm getting sweetness in this fragrance like some type of fruity component in this fragrance and i don't know where it's coming from okay so it says green tea is in the note i would definitely say this is a very tea like fragrance okay very feminine very gorgeous if you are someone who is into extremely feminine fragrances you will enjoy this fragrance because it's giving me feminine it's giving me soft girly you know that's what it's giving me let's get into the rose i don't go for a lot of rose fragrances i really really don't in this fragrance it is simply magnificent okay it is just the prettiest rose that you will ever want to smell in your whole entire life do you hear me this is the best rose this is the best rose i'm even willing to say i like this rose more than i like the rose in delina and in chloe those are my two favorite rose fragrances of all times and for me to say i like this rose better than them two girls i'm saying a lot you understand like i'm I'm saying like I can literally drench myself in this fragrance, real talk. Maybe it's the orange blossom giving me that sweetness because you, to my nose, when I smell orange blossom, it comes across very sweet, very syrupy and things like that. So maybe it's the orange blossom giving the fragrance that sweetness. This is simply blended to perfection. This is an amazing scent, well worth the coin. I did go and look at the price, I looked at it and then I looked away okay and from my understanding I think they do come in two different sizes but we'll see but I'm definitely adding this one to my collection there's another Kriegler that I hear a lot about and that's Abracadabra I don't have a sample of that one but I've heard a lot of great things we do have a Kriegler uh, storefront downtown in the Hilton's America I think don't quote me on that but I will be going there and purchasing my fragrance because I do want to smell abracadabra because I've heard a lot of great things about abracadabra but you guys I'm telling you right now charming California 215 is uh, amazing if you're someone that likes expensive fragrances luxury fragrances girl this that one ooh, trust me I'm willing to you know what I'm saying eat noodles for a whole week to get this fragrance in my collection i i actually kind of like this one more than hell bop and y'all i went on and on about hell bop but charming california is definitely coming home to mama one day i love it thank you pam for sending me these fragrances if you have any of the fragrances i mentioned in this video please comment down below let us know how you feel about them if you're into fragrances you love my videos you want to learn more please hit the subscribe button turn on your notification bell that way you'll be notified every time i upload hit the thumbs up button if you like this video and you enjoy my content okay thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you in the next video Mwah. bye